Today I've got a pretty crazy looking problem that is actually not too bad when you know the trick. So let's consider the following function. We have f of x equals x to the 13 times cosine squared of x to the 1000 times e to the x cubed. And then our goal is to find the 2022nd derivative of this function evaluated at zero. So maybe you want to start right now and just take the first derivative and then the second derivative and the third derivative until you get to the 2022nd derivative and then plug in zero and see what you get. But of course, that's not the way to do this problem. We must have a trick. And the trick will be, able, will, will be to expand this as a Taylor series based at zero. In other words, a Maclaurin series. So let's recall from a second semester calculus type course that the radius of convergence for x, the cosine of x, and e to the x are all infinity. So that means if we expand them as a power series, they're convergent over the whole real number line. Furthermore, our function f is built from these three functions. That means the radius of convergence for our function is also infinity. So what we'll do is expand our function about zero. So let's recall that that expansion looks like this. We've got f of x equals the sum as n goes from zero up to infinity of the nth derivative of f evaluated at zero over n factorial times x to the n. And this equality holds for all x in the real numbers because we've got this radius of convergence of infinity. Okay, so now we can recast this goal right here as just finding a certain coefficient of this power series. So notice that the 2022nd derivative of our function evaluated at zero is exactly equal to 2022 factorial times the coefficient of x to the 2022 of our function f of x. Where when I'm writing this function f of x right here, what I'm really do doing is viewing it as its power series expansion. So this is the sum as n goes from zero to infinity of that nth derivative evaluated at zero over n factorial x to the n. Great. So that really motivates the following like intermediate goal, and that will be to find the coefficient of x to the 2022 of our sum as n goes from zero to infinity of this power series expansion. So I'll just write that out. But that might seem like a lot of work too, but luckily these three functions have well-known power series expansion. In fact, like this x to the 13 is just itself. So let's use those well-known power series expansion. So I'll just say note that f of x equals x to the 13 times one minus x to the 2000 over two factorial plus x to the 4,000 over four factorial minus dot, dot, dot squared. So that's the first couple of terms of our cosine expansion. So I'll just say this is cosine squared x to the 1,000. But since we're trying to extract the coefficient of x to the 2022, we actually don't need anything past this x to the 2000 because that gives us too large of a power of x. Okay, then we need our exponential part. So this will be one plus x cubed plus x to the six over two factorial plus dot, dot, dot. Great. But now I'll square this out, but only keep the stuff that I need. So notice I will not need an x to the 2000 times an x to the 2000 term, because that gives us an x to the 4000. So I only need the terms that are achieved by multiplying one to one, one to this x to the 2000 over two factorial, and then the kind of complementary symmetric term with that. So let's write out what we have. We have f of x equals x to the 13 times one minus x to the 2000. And then I'm gonna write it like this, plus x to the 4000 times a new function g of x, where that's kind of our remainder after multiplying this power series to itself and then collecting all of those terms. 
So this one comes from one times one, and then notice these double up just kind of by foiling these things out. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna write some more terms. We have one plus x cubed plus x to the six over two factorial plus x to the nine over uh, three factorial plus dot, dot, dot. And then I'm gonna do one more rewriting step before I start extracting coefficients. I'm gonna take this x to the 13 and distribute it through into this sum. So that's gonna leave me with one minus x to the 2000 plus x to the 4000 times this function that I'm calling g of x, which is a power series. And then I've got x to the 13 plus x to the 16 plus x to the 19 over two factorial plus x to the 22 over three factorial. That's kind of nice that we have x to the 22 there plus on and on and on. But I guess I'd like to point out that there is no appearance of x to the 2022. Great. And so let's maybe just put an X through that to say there's no appearance of X to the 2022. And how do we know that? Well, that's because X to the 2022 is divisible by three. That means there is an appearance of X to the 2022 in this sum before we distribute the X to the 13 through. In fact, it looks like this, X to the 2022 over something like 674 factorial. 674 is 2022 divided by three. But then when we multiply by 13, we end up getting things that are not divisible by three in the exponents. But since 2022 is divisible by three, that means we do not achieve it. Okay, great. So now let's see how to achieve x to the 2022. Well, multiplying by one will not achieve x to the 2022 because it doesn't exist over here. Multiplying by x to the 2000 will because we've got an x to the 22 term. So this is gonna give us some terms at the beginning and then we'll have minus x to the 2022 over three factorial and then plus dot, dot, dot. And nothing else will matter because everything else will have a exponent larger than x to the 2022. So that means the coefficient of x to the 2022 from this expansion is exactly equal to minus one over three factorial. But that's not quite our final answer. Our final answer is 2022 factorial times this coefficient. And so in the end, what we have is minus 2022 factorial over three factorial. And that's such a large number that it's not really worth writing out. I think it has on the order of 5,000 digits. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I've actually done another video on the channel where we find a very high order derivative of a function. Maybe you'd like to check that out. It should be on the screen right now. And that's a good place to stop.